This is a screenshot of the uh, library homepage, which is where you'll find uh, the uh, the search uh, facility, the search bar, whatever you want to call it, for the uh, for the library catalog. And uh, the library catalog, it's it's a really handy tool for a number of reasons. It brings together all of those databases that we mentioned. Um, uh, so all of our databases now uh, are sort of connected uh, into one point of entry or most of them that is um into the, uh, which is the library catalog so um, you can get access to the vast majority of our collection uh, via this single uh, point of entry um, so uh, the library catalog is really handy uh, if you're looking for an individual uh, like a book title or or an article uh, a title uh, so say you've got a you know a print book for example on your on your reading list and you you, you need to get access to it uh, so um, so to get the shelf uh, number uh, the call number you need to uh, find out what that is in the library catalog uh, if there's a you know, if you're searching around and you're just using Google, for example, uh, and you find a scholarly article uh, that you want and um, you can't get access to it, it's asking you to, you know, to pay for it or, or whatnot, uh, you can come back to the library catalog, log in uh, to your account, uh, to your library account, search for the title, and then, um, uh, and then you should be able to get access to it as long as we subscribe to it. Um, but it's also a good place to go to if you are starting to do uh, some research on a topic that you've been assigned, for example, uh, to, to get an idea of what uh, information is out there about there, particularly the, the scholarly information um, uh, that there is about that topic. So um, a really you know handy uh, place to go uh, as well if you're just sort of you know coming to grips with some uh, with some search techniques um, and uh, so that's uh, you get access to it at library.nuigalway.ie so if you are um, you know you have an assignment title so it says here while it's tempting to just google the assignment title so you know i would i would sort of paraphrase that and say uh, it's if it's tempting to just uh, you know uh, google or head off to the catalog with your assignment title um so you've got an assignment you've got a you've got a you've got a, you've got a question you've been uh, uh, asked to come up with an answer for um you know uh and hope for the best uh Think about these questions first, and these are good questions to ask yourself before you go off and doing any any kind of of searching. Uh, what is the purpose of your research question? Uh, what type of information sources uh, should you focus on? Uh, so you know, usually uh, the scholarly information will be included there, but um, is that is it limited to scholarly information? Um, what other kinds of sources should you be using? Um, do I have access to those sources? So uh, the library provides gr you know great access to you know lots of sources, particularly again scholarly information. But we don't have access to everything. Um, so um, if you need some very specific kinds of sources, we might not have access to it. Uh, and uh, if that's the case, um, you, you know you need to figure out. Um, how you're going to get access to those sources or what, if you're coming up with your own, you know, if this is a research topic that you're coming up with on your own, um, whether you might need, need to think about changing your approach to, to what it is that you're doing so that you, you can actually get access to the sources that, uh, that you need. Uh, what am I being asked to do? Describe, analyze, explore. Uh, and do you understand the terms of your research questions? So uh, all good questions to ask yourself before you head off to do some, uh, some searching. Um, when you are looking for uh, a, a particular topic, um, there, there's a number of, you know, there's lots of search tools, lots of search techniques that you can use to better, um, uh, to get a more precise sort of search. And, um, um, you know, they tend to be used to solve one or two problems. Either um, you're getting way too many results in a search or you're not getting enough uh, results in a search. Uh, now, the exact phrase search is, 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 is a good one. It's a simple one. Um, it just means uh, wrapping uh, a phrase. Uh, if you're looking for a key phrase, uh, which is, which is it's, a, it's a key idea that's articulated in more than one uh, word. So uh, here we have the phrase common cold. Um, and um, to make it an exact phrase search, you just wrap the double inverted commas around uh, common cold. So, 
Um, so if you don't do that, you can see uh, just below the line there what happens if you look for common cold and you don't have those you know, double inverted commas wrapped around it. Um, uh, all the different kinds of results you might be getting that, that aren't really uh, relevant uh, to, to the topic of the common cold. So uh, if, you, if you put this into some kind of a search engine or, or the catalog or whatever, uh, you'll be getting results uh, uh, related, yes, to common cold, uh, but also cold weather is common. So you haven't you know, told you know, whatever machine it is that you're using that you want those two, two words to be stuck together like glue as a phrase. Uh, if you haven't told it that, then um, uh, that it will look for for things like cold weather is common because both of the words are there in that phrase. They're not stuck together as as common cold, but they're both there, um, even though they're separated by another a couple of other terms. Uh, so that will still come up as a hit. So um, uh, you know this is not relevant to what it is that you're that you're actually searching. Cold weather is common, uh, nor is cold war common tactics. So both those 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 words that make up the phrase common cold are, are there in that little little sentence, Cold War Common Tactics. But that's going to come up in your results list, even though it's not actually relevant uh, to what it is that you're trying to do research on. So uh, the double inverted comma there, uh, to turn that into a, an exact phrase, uh, can, be a, can be a handy way of you know, reducing uh, you know, the numbers of, of, of results that you get uh, to, the, to, to ones that are more relevant to what you're actually doing. Um, so yeah, that can be, be a handy one. And then we've got our, our Boolean commands. So uh, the ones that I really focus on are AND and OR. And um, so basically, AND is used to uh, focus a search, uh, to reduce the number of, of results by connecting to uh, different parts of, of an overall topic. So, you know, coal, the common cold is not something you'd probably do, be doing research on, really. Uh, it's just such a, uh, a broad uh, uh, idea. Uh, you, you would be looking for something more specific. So, uh, you know, the common cold, uh, amongst a certain you know group of people, maybe maybe I don't know teenagers or, or the elderly, um, particular uh, treatments for the common cold, like say you're you're looking at uh, you know naturopathic uh, uh, techniques for the treatment of the common cold, so maybe you know echinacea and the common cold. Um, so and sometimes you would put the boolean command and in between uh, you know common cold and echinacea in order to uh, uh, to focus the, uh, the the search so uh, so if we look at these sort of circles if we if we if just uh, the ones that are just above the and there the, the 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 circle to the left you know we might we might say that that represents the common cold and then the circle to the right uh, that represents you know, the, the treatment you're looking at. Uh, and then when you put them together uh, using the Boolean and um, that the, the red part in the middle is the is is you know represents the number of results that you're going to get uh, uh, by using that command in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a search tool. Um, on the other hand, or, uh, is 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 useful for broadening out a search. So this is where um, uh, you might use uh, keywords and then boolean or to uh, to if if you're running into a situation where you're not getting any uh, results, um, uh, you can say okay, well maybe maybe it's because I'm not using the right terminology. Maybe there's some you know very technical term for common cold. Um, that researchers are using, and that's why I'm not getting any results. So um, you would put or in between uh, sort of synonymous terms. So common cold, and then you know whatever that more technical scientific term would be uh, for the common cold, uh, and then see if that if that if that gets you uh, more results.